we came to the point where we had a lot of alone time. And what I regret now is having sex with him. I didn't think that I could get her pregnant. I didn't, I didn't think of any of those consequences. I just thought of the momentary pleasure that I was getting from it. it it's a blow to your self-esteem to be walking down the street and have a guy walk up to you and be like, I know who you are. Like, no girl wants to be known as the high school slut. It started to affect who I was. I could no longer, you know, just see a girl walking on the street without immediately thinking of sex and porn and what it would be like to have sex with her and wishing that I could have sex with her. I can't tell my parents. I can't tell the people at church. I can't face people at school. Like, everyone is going to be disappointed in me. Everyone's going to judge me, and I'm just going to, like, I'm going to have to go to another country. I ended up having to go home with my tear-stained face and my mom asking me what happened. I, I justified it in my mind because I was like, well, I love her, I think. I felt dirty every single time. I knew what God had for me, and I, and I knew that I'm not supposed to be having sex before marriage. Well, it's real easy to tell that we live in a totally sex saturated society. Today, sex is, it's glorified. And in its glorification, you see it, you just see it everywhere. And there are some harmful messages and some actually inaccurate messages that lead people to make stupid decisions for their life. And these bad decisions can result in people carrying around deep wounds and hurts and painful memories. But there's some great news for you about sex, is that God created sex to be good, to be great, to be wonderful, to be in the context of marriage. And that was God's design. 